Welcome back to our Advent Calendar Openings. If you come along with me, I'm going to open and show you the gifts for day seven today from the Play-Doh calendar, the Lego City calendar, and the Lego Star Wars calendar. And day seven has R2-D2 behind it and a little bit of gift stuff, so we're gonna pop this open and see what's inside. This is, of course, the Lego Star Wars calendar. I really don't know what that is. <laughs> so I'm gonna build this and I guess we'll find out. Well, this looks like some kind of funky table, I think. I've kind of lined up my pieces here, so I find it makes it a little easier for finding the right colors and stuff. So I'm gonna start building the base of this table-y thing. It probably does go with the Ewoks. And, okay, I think that's our legs of the table. So I'm gonna take this piece, and I think this goes in here. So we want our table to stand. <laughs> our funny looking little table. And now these pieces go in the corners in kind of an odd way. And then I think I just stick some green bits in the corners of these. These little round disc things, those pieces are kind of cool. I don't usually see those in green, but maybe they're common, who knows. Okay, my leg fell off. Okay, I'll put it back on there and I need one more green piece. So if you know what this is, please tell me <laughs> in the comments below. Do you think it's a table or not? And I think we take one of these orange pieces and put it in the middle. Maybe I should have put that on first. Oh, come on little guy. And pig. There we go. See, and this one. Oh. Something like that. So, is it maybe trees? Maybe, maybe it is a Ewok tree house. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna guess anyway. <laughs> uh, tell me what you think below of my strange little treehouse building thing. And now on to our next calendar. Here we are with more Lego City. I hope you've been enjoying the calendars so far. What could it be? Oh, oh, I think it's a Lego character. I'm always wanting more characters. Oh, it's a little Lego man and he might have an iPhone and is that supposed to be coffee? Hmm. Snowball, maybe? Let me know what you think he's holding in the comments below, please. Now let's put him together. Pants go there. Again, something funny. It, he has the little kid legs that don't bend. Oh, and I'm losing pieces. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna rescue his head here. Hopefully I didn't lose too many. He has a very jolly expression on, and boy, that's a lot of hair. And he actually comes with these two little pieces. Um, I think that can fit in his hand. By the diagram, it looks like it can. Just put that on top there. Maybe that's his coffee. And he actually comes with two phones. It looks very much like a smartphone. If I can get it in his hand, so you have one replacement one or you can use it with your other Legos which is really cool. Ah, oh, it doesn't want to go in. Come on little guy. There we go. He's excited to have his little iPhone do flotchy there. And I like his little green sweater. He has two shirts on. It's pretty cute. Nice to have extra pieces. We can just like stock up on these and have a bazillion iPhones. <laughs> Maybe this is his toy bulldozer, who knows? Okay friends, it is time for day seven of the Play-Doh Advent Calendar. 
and uh, we're getting closer to Christmas so this is pretty cool. Now day seven is a little funny looking like it has these weird tentacles coming out of it maybe um, there's some kind of monster <laughs> under here. I'm a little scared to lift it up Let's see if I can get in there. What do you think it is? Like, Tell me in the comments what you think that is. Oh, I think it's some kind of knife. It looks like a butter knife. Just, you know, won't hurt you. Just a little kind of plastic cutting tool for your Play-Doh. So for our test this time, I am going to try and get my blue Play-Doh out. Oh, I guess I used this one before. My little Christmas tree was still stuck on top. That's kind of funny. I love sparkly Play-Doh. So pretty. Okay, I'm squishing it out now. We're gonna try our little safety cutter and see how it works. And you can kind of make like a little Christmas tree. That's pretty cool. And if you needed to decorate something, I think that works good. I like my little tool. That'll be handy when I make more Play-Doh things. So if you enjoyed this video, please tell me your favorite toy from the video. I'd love to hear which one your favorite is. And subscribe, like, and share. And check back tomorrow for day eight, I believe. And I will see you next time. Bye.